Hello everyone. It's another beautiful blessed day today to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an honor to glorify him, to seek him, to shout out and worship his holy name today. Give him the thanks what he deserves. Give him the praise, the honor, and all the glory. We serve an awesome and amazing God, y'all. Give it up to him. If you're not doing anything right now, just stop for a moment and let your heavenly Father God know that you love him. Let him know that you trust him. Let him know that he's your everything. Let his name always be on the fruit of your lips each and every day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And today we're going to be talking about God says forgive up up to 77 times. God knows the people who hurt us. He knows that people are always going to talk bad about us. People are always going to sin against us. People are always going to stab us in the back. But I hear my Father God assuring somebody today. He said, forgive them up to 77 times. And this message today, you know why. For God is saying, forgive them up for 77 times. Some of y'all probably saying, well, I forgave them one time. No. He's going to tell you why one time is not enough. Forgive them up to 77 times. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. But this message is meant for somebody today. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, we always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health today, our strength today, our hearing our voice today. We can't thank you enough that we was able to seek you and your kingdom today, to get on our knees to pray to you and worship to you and open up our Bible to receive a word today. We just can't thank you enough that your name will always be in the fruits of our lips, our mind, body, and soul. We just can't thank you enough for the clothes that you put on our back, the shoes on our feet, the food that you prepared or put on our table. Oh, Lord, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. We just can't thank you enough for everything that you do in our life. Hallelujah, Jesus. We just can't thank you enough for how awesome and amazing you are and your, and your promises. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. We can't thank you enough. You are everything. That's why we're always going to seek you, praise you, and glorify your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today, I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bible to Matthew 18. And we're going to read verses 21 through 22. That's Matthew 18, verses 21 through 22. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen. Let's begin. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times. Jesus answered, I tell you not seven times, but 77 times. Jesus multiplied that by 10. Why do you think Jesus multiplied that by so many? I'm going to tell you why. Jesus, one thing about Jesus. He knows the people who sin against us. He knows the people who hurt us. He knows the people who betray us. He knows the people who backstab us. He knows the people who do who does us wrong. Jesus knows all of that. But in the midst of all of that, some of us, we so stubborn, we don't forget the people. But we always asking God to forgive us. Some of us so stubborn, we don't forgive one or two times. But how many times has Jesus also forgiven us? Some of y'all really forget that part right now. That's what Jesus is saying. Say, just don't forgive him seven times, but forgive him up to 77 times. That means that you can forgive him more, more than 77 times. Think about what Jesus is saying that. How many times have you sinned against Jesus? And how many times has Jesus forgave you? One time or a hundred times? Some of y'all, Jesus don't forgive y'all a hundred million times. Some of y'all don't even realize that. You're looking at a, a true witness right here. And I ain't ashamed to let you know that. Jesus has forgiven me up more than up to 77 times. So it's fair to me. To, it don't matter if you're my brother, you're my sister, you're my neighbor, you're my, you're my friend, you're my co-worker. If you do me wrong or you sin against me, I'm going to forgive you more up to 77 times. Because I think about the times when Jesus forgave me. Look at the time when Jesus forgiven me when I was out there on the streets. Doing wrong. When I was up to no good at that time. When I was out there selling drugs to my friends, to my friends' family, and to my own family members. When I was out there doing wrong, hanging with the wrong type of crowd. 
when I was out there in that lust world. Look at me time have Jesus forgiven me. When I was out there fighting, just doing stupid stuff out of the ordinary. Look at me in time Jesus forgave me. I know it's more than 77 times. I know it's more than 100,000 times. So, my, my point is to somebody today. Jesus know that your brother has sinned against you. Jesus know that your sister has sinned against you. Jesus know that your family member has done you wrong. Jesus know that so-called friend has stabbed you in the back. Jesus know that co-worker has done you wrong. Jesus know that that neighbor has done you wrong. Just don't forgive him one time. And you expect Jesus to forgive you. Jesus wants you to know to forgive them up to 77 times. That's what he's telling somebody today. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to somebody today. This message is meant for somebody today. This word is meant for somebody today. Because the reason why I know this, because somebody has let you down. Somebody has turned their back against you. Somebody has sinned against you. Somebody has stabbed you in the back. Somebody has betrayed you. But Jesus said, forgive them. Just don't forgive them one time. Just don't forgive them seven times. He said, forgive them up to 77 times. Then Jesus forgave Peter. And Peter denied him. Not one time, not two times, but three times. Jesus still forgave Peter. Jesus was still using Peter after he denied him. Look at the, um, the 12 disciples. Look what they were doing. Was any one of them perfect? But look what they were doing. They were still following Jesus. Why they were still following Jesus? Because Jesus forgave them. See, some of y'all don't realize that. He knows the people who do you wrong. He knows the people who sin against you. He knows everything. But some of y'all walk around so stubborn with your nose stuck up in your, in your in the air and you won't forgive them. But you're steady asking Jesus to forgive you for something that you don't done. That don't make any sense now, does it? No. How can you have the audacity to ask Jesus to forgive you when you can't forgive your own sister and brother who sinned against you? That's what the word of God is telling you right now. He said, forgive them. Up to seven, seven times. Then I forgive you. And we still sin to this day. Because we live in sin. That's why he's still telling you to forgive him up to seven, seven times. We still live in sin. Every last one of us. So why won't you um, forgive your sister or your brother who sinned against you? Why won't you forgive your sister, your brother, your family member who done you wrong, who was stabbed in the back? I know it's hard. And I know it hurts for But push that pride to the side. And just forgive him. He didn't say bless them. He said forgive them. That's what he said. And I don't want y'all two to get the two mixed up. He didn't say bless them. When you forgive them, that's already a blessing. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. Once you forgive them up to 77 times, it's already a blessing. Amen, right? It's already a blessing. That's what he's ensuring somebody today. Forgive your sister and brother your co-worker, your neighbor, your so-called friend or family member, forgive them up to 77 times because Jesus has forgiven you more, more than that. Some of y'all might not be honest with it, but we're looking at a witness right here. He's forgiven me more than 100 million times and he still using me right now to this day because why? We still live in the scene. I think about all the things I done done when I was at that door room before I came a minister. Look how he forgave me, but look at how he used me now. We all have done wrong in our lifetime. There's not one person on this planet called Earth can sit there and say that they're perfect. If you say you're perfect, I already know you ain't telling the truth. Because there's only one person on this world that's perfect. His name is Jesus. J-E-S-U-S, Jesus. He's the only one that's perfect in all his ways. Make him a time, Jesus, is forgiving you. Some of y'all probably did more, did more wrong than a person who sinned against you. Some of y'all probably don't dare more, dare more wrong than a person who stabbed you in the back or who done, who, who turned you in. Ask yourself that question. But you still want Jesus to forgive you, right? Jesus said, forgive him. And I believe because today that I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this message for today. But forgive your sister, forgive your brother, forgive your coworker, forgive your family member, forgive your neighbor, forgive him up to 77 times.
That's what the word of God says. And the word of God does not lie. But you got to remember, like I said before, my point is, I think Jesus multiplied by the times 10 because he's still forgiving us each and every day. Now don't. Yes, he does. He's still forgiving us right now to this day. He's still forgiving us. The reason why he's still forgiving us is because we live in sin each and every day. There's, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. There's nobody in this world that's perfect. That's why it's important for you to forgive that person up to that many times and more. Because that many times he's going to forgive you for the wrong that you have done. Some of y'all disrespect his name. Now, don't you? Some of y'all are not even praising him and glorifying him like you're supposed to, but you're still asking Jesus to forgive you. Think about it. I just want this message right here, right now, to stick to somebody right now. Let this message meditate on somebody's mind and thought today. You might not want to forgive the person today. Maybe it might be tomorrow. Maybe it might be next week or next month or next year. Whatever it may be. But you think about this message right here that God is speaking to somebody today. Think about it. Let it soak in. And when it soak in, you're going to be like, wow, you know what? Minister LT right. No, nah, Minister LT ain't right. The word of God is right. Matthew 18, 21 and 22 is right. Minister LT is speaking what God wants me to speak to somebody today. That's all I'm doing. Is sharing the gospel towards somebody today. Then when you hear, you're like, wow, you know what? Jesus has forgiven me that many times. Think about how many times that Jesus forgave each and, each and last one of us in one year or in one day or in, or in one week. Some of us more than 77 times, right? Okay, same way with that loved one. Forgive them. Amen. And if you receive this word, this message today, Let's give God some thanks and praise and glory, y'all. Shout out his holy name. Let him know that he's your everything. Let him know that you seek him in this kingdom each and every day. And today, we're going to forgive our people who done us wrong up to 77 times. In the mighty, glorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you receive it? Shout out amen. And I never like to leave my show or broadcast, but I leave with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to take over. To guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.